What's up ladies and gents, Ghost here, and today I'm going to be doing a little walkthrough of the end of a round I played on Hainan Resort. As you can see, I'm using the IFV, and we are at a pretty huge ticket deficit. Now this is something I did try out in BF3, it's a little bit different than what I'm used to doing, doing some live commentary here, unedited, on uh, a round that I played. As you guys know, the channel has always been about self-improvement, and whether that's been concentrating on a specific weapon, or a vehicle, or a certain aspect of the game, it's always been about improving ourselves, it helps me improve and I like to try and help you guys out there improve as well. But this is something I've never done, I'm going to be talking about my decision making, why I make the decisions that I do. And really that's all a game of Battlefield 4 is, it's just good decision making, whether that's attacking a particular point in Conquest, whether it's your weapon loadout, uh, the vehicle you use, how you decide to flank the enemy, it's all just a series of decisions and if you make the right decisions you're going to end up with uh, most likely a good KD and you're going to be at the top of the scoreboard and if you make wrong decisions then uh, you're going to end up at the bottom of the scoreboard. So that's what I decided to share with you guys today. Now a lot of you who have just gotten into IFVs for the five times and have zero tow missiles unlocked are probably going to be thinking, wow man, these vehicles suck against uh, enemy vehicles like tanks, but once you get a tow missiles, you're going to see right there, boom, the power behind those. If you use the main cannons in conjunction with the tow missiles, you can actually often overpower an enemy tank. Now, I don't know what happened here. For some reason, I got stuck on a tennis court. This is a common problem in BF4. You get stuck on tiny little objects, so I'm not sure what that is about. Now, I was playing here with Cattle Dude, so he's the only other guy in the squad who I'm actually familiar with, and we were talking on live comms. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture that microphone audio. Now, you can see here that I'm getting locked from behind. I blow my countermeasures, and now I'm going to back all the way up this hill, and that is actually the beauty of the IFV. It's so fast, so if somebody locks you from afar, you can catch up to them in an instant. Now, unfortunately, I don't find the guy. He's either died to uh, enemy fire, or, you know, his enemy fire, but um, or otherwise vacated the area, so it's not my problem. Tow missile, a jeep there. Those guys get out just in time. But uh, don't really make it. They line up pretty nicely there for my front cannons. And once again, we've gotten stuck on this tennis court. That thing is absolutely OP. I don't know why they put it in the game. Get it out, dice. That's the most overpowered thing. Now, my thought here, really, is just to try and go around and take as many flags as possible. Because, uh, really, we cannot allow the enemy to have a single flag. I tried to get a hit on the attack jet there. I heard the distinct noise of it flying overhead. And he seemed to be floating around quite slowly there. But just as I launched the tow missile, he's okay. Now, here you see the power of the tow missiles once again. RFB, no problem at all. Tow missile that thing down and boom, there it goes. These things are just so insanely powerful. So, as you can see, I've been holding A and B down pretty much here. I did take C and D earlier. It seems the enemy are working on that now. So, we're three flags to one. They are capturing two of ours, and we're going for one of theirs. And it's a little bit of a tense situation, because we really cannot allow them to hold on to that C flag. If they have just one flag, they are going to win this game. The only way we're actually going to win this is if we take all five of them and uh, preferably try and stay alive because for every death that you get that is also going to be a ticket gone. Now you guys are going to notice that I keep jumping out all the time and giving myself a little bit of repair and then getting back in and if you guys like using vehicles and you want to get better in them I really recommend playing the engineer role and uh, going with the repair tool because that thing is immeasurable in how useful it can be to you. Now the reason I keep jumping back in the IFE quickly is because I'm a bit worried that I'm going to get shot in the head by somebody if I stay too long outside of the vehicle. Somebody's going to notice. I'm not sure that what that guy was trying there. He was probably trying to use his repair tool on me. He gets killed. But I am marked as the HVT here, so everybody in the entire game can see where I am. And I'm uh, half surprised that nobody's killed me yet. So that's part of the reason why I'm repairing for a little bit. But whenever you can, you really want to jump out. Give yourself a quick repair whenever you have the opportunity. And as you can see here, I am trying to capture that final objective, but unfortunately, we do lose that one. And I can't really say that I'm dissatisfied in the way that we played, because I think we did pretty well. At one point, the enemy team had 250 tickets to our 30 tickets or something insane like that. So given the circumstances, I think we did pretty well there. And it just goes to show that if you are determined, you can almost pull off a win out of any situation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 
different video with uh, me rambling over the top of some gameplay. I tried to throw in a few tips and tricks for you guys wherever possible, so hopefully you took something away with it. And uh, let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you enjoyed this one, what are your opinions on it. And if you enjoyed watching, feel free to leave a like down below, a rating, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.